with another episode of <laughs> FL Beer Reviews. Swirling, I'm swirling. Dan. I'm like, Dan, what are we drinking? Hey, you don't fucking know. It's, uh, <laughs> Tell it's gone. I'm so tired of that Where is that? Coaster. It's a stupid coaster. It's a leather coaster I've had forever from Great Lakes. It's been through the pandemic, my friends. That's a good coaster. Talk about the beer. All right. right. We have got a beer from the Frequentum Brewing Company out of Canandaigua, New York. And this is in collaboration with Transcend Beer Crafters out of Southington, Connecticut. And this is their Supreme Sickle Vanilla Ice Cream Tangerine Mango. Heavily fruit sour. Uh, this thing has... Vanilla ice cream, and I'm, I'm fairly certain it's lactose-free vanilla ice cream powder, tangerine, and mango in it. 5.5% ABV. Oh, no. 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 What? They always stamp dates on their cans. I see no date. Oh, guys. Brothers. Guys. Brothers. Boys, what did you do to me? I mean, it's super fresh because it just okay so uh the post came out december 1st yeah it's super fresh but anyway so at the time of filming we're about two weeks i'm knocking like no not even no no like a week we bought this like last week so no i mean from the time it was canned uh did you say where the other breweries from transcend craft southington connecticut southington oh here we come okay don't get the coaster so sick of this thing. I Actually, told this you. Thing's from I like, told you. This thing's probably from like 2015, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's a yeah, because that's when you went yeah. to Great Lakes, right? It's been a while now. I mean, well, I've gone many times, but I think the first time I went there, I, I bought these. Okay, all right. Was that. It might be time to get a new one. No, uh, <laughs> no way, man. I'll pass the thing on to my kid when I croak. <laughs> that's all he's getting. I got this piece of. You can't even read what was on it at one point. It's just a circle piece of leather. <laughs> No, you can wash these. I gotta wash it. I know, but I'm saying it'll be so old by then. Yeah. But like, I don't it think it'd anyway. be that bad. Like, if you got better at porn. But anyways, yeah. Somehow this always turns into my fault. Anyway, uh, that is super thick. Look at all that. In oh my god, dirty glass mop. I mean, if he's oh jeez, <laughs> oh don't. <laughs> Like, look, it's just like we gotta clean it. You can't see this. It's never it coming out. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's it's so thick. There's floaties on floaties. So, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it, maybe if I can zoom in a little bit. I was gonna say you haven't zoomed at all. Today. I haven't zoomed at all. I don't know, I wouldn't like that. It looks like a thick orange. But like when it was porn, you could see. Th- yeah, see like dirty glass mafia right there. That's yeah, my that's fault. All right. No, I think that's. The but look at all the crap on top, dude. There's so much goodness in there. You call it goodness, I call it crap. Oh, it's good. We'll figure out what it is. It's freaking smoothie style. I'm getting a whiff. Mmm, <sighs> okay. So, a lot of cuties. Like, that tangerine just... You know what I smell? <sighs> dole Whip. Ah, yeah, okay. Like a mango Dole Whip. Yeah, you love your Dole Whip. And, it, dude, yeah, the mango is really good. Pineapple is a classic Dole Whip flavor, mm-hmm. but mango is where it's at. Dude. Mango is always where it's at. Um, man. Oh, it smells fantastic. It smells, it smells cold, and it smells the soda. The top is just spray. It's just like, it looks like a sickness. It, <laughs> it looks like you could scoop that out with a spoon. Let's taste. It. Let's do it. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Dude, you know what I love about this right off the bat? The carbonation level. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought I was going in just fruit style. This is like a perfect spritzy carbonation. It's, it's, we talked about it before. It's that holiday punch, that punch bowl. This is like an orange creamsicle Mm. soda Mm -hmm. with some fresh mango in it. Like, that carbonation level works perfectly with this. It's, yeah, man, this is like, it's like a summer treat of God. Raining down on us from the frequentum oh, lords above oh, oh, and all the fancy folk oh, oh, in Southington, um, Connecticut. No, this is... um. So, I when I tried it mm-hmm. at the brewery, I only took a sip because I was like, I want to review this, so I'm not going to go into it hardcore. But talk to me about the vanilla ice cream powder. I think the sweetness is so dialed and no back. lactose. No lactose. I think there's a sweetness there, but it's so dialed back that it's not overly candied or anything. It is. It there definitely is a sweet vanilla, and um, 
Think like, like the vanilla. Oh my gosh, so good. The vanilla cream uh, swirl mm -hmm. hard candies. Top that can. With the orange and everything. It's like that, but like dialed back the sweetness. Dude, but yeah. dude that carbonation. <laughs> it's so it's just nuts. That heavy, heavy omnipresent carbonation that just doesn't go away and it's spritzy. So it's like if you took that like little stupid seltzer machine. The, the, mm -hmm. Add carbonation to anything. It's got like I'm fairly Ron Popeil, how they carbonate. It's got like Ron Popeil's grandson doing it because he's Popeil. carrying on the family biz. But yeah, it's like, dude, I love it. It's so good. It is. It's so fantastic. Like I thought it. I thought that was going to be an overtly sweet, yep. uh, heavy experience. Uh, in fact, the body is. The body is full, but that carbonation breaks up so lovely, it just dances on the tongue. I think it's less full than a lot of the other just fruit style beers. Dude, I'm blown away. It's freaking delicious, right? <laughs> this is delicious. I it's might, so good. I might have to leave the, the ranch here and head on over <laughs> to Canada. It's freaking delicious. And get me a four pack of this. Uh, what would you rate it, Dan? See, here's the thing. Normally, I can't drink too many of these, but I can drink a couple. A couple of these. Four point seven five. I was gonna give it a four eight. I'm not sure what else I would do, but it's such a well made beer. I it's think stupid. in their pantheon of fruited sour ales, this thing just sits at the top. It's so good. I love the carbonation. That's what makes it for me. It's delicious. I mean, the flavor, everything, all involved, but yeah. Not too sweet, not too tart, not too sour. I love the balance of it. It's such a well-made beer. Yeah. All right, uh, down in the description below, <sighs> link trees, all that good stuff. Uh, hit us up. Uh, yeah, these glasses enough. are going to have to go through uh, fire oh, yeah. hose. It's true. Uh, we'll pressure wash them. Pressure. Of we should pressure washing. wash that uh, coaster as well. You leave the coaster alone. For Quite right. Time Canada, New York, check them out. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.